This is a unique piece of meat. This is alpaca, neck end osso buco. Obviously the only animal you can get neck end osso buco out of is an alpaca, obviously because of the long neck. Osso buco traditionally from the shin of beef uh, cut across the bone. So what we've got here is the same concept, but we've cut across the neck end. So what we have is beautiful gelatinous lines of sinew and muscles that once we cook it down, are gonna be beautiful and succulent and moist, same as good osso buco. We're just gonna season this up a little. Some salt, pepper. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna fry off these osso buco. So I've got a nice hot pot here. I'm just gonna add a bit of oil to it, and add those in. Gonna get them nice and brown. Caramel has flavour, so like with any other meat that you want to caramelise it first, get a good bit of brown on both sides. If we don't caramelise it first, it's not going to get that flavour through the stew. Alright, so these are nice and brown now. I'm going to take these out. Just give them a rest on the plate for a bit. And we're going to add our, our mirror in our carrot and onion and celery. Brown those off and get some flavour into those too. So you can see how beautiful and brown those are now. Doesn't matter how they're cooked through because they're going to get braised for a couple of hours. So eventually they're just going to be so cooked they're going to be delicious and tender. So what we're going to do now is add our, add our mirepoix into the pot. Pot's nice and brown from the meat still. You can hear it sizzling away. You get, get some good colour on that and pull off some of those nice crusty bits that are sitting on the bottom of the pot still from the meat. This is going to be pretty quick. So we're just getting a, a nice little bit of colour onto the vegetables. We're going to add in some thyme. Beautiful fresh thyme, we grow it in our gardens. Bay leaf, using fresh bay leaf because again we grow heaps of it in the garden. A couple of cloves of smashed garlic. Just going to add a little bit more oil. And we'll skim that all off later, so it's a really nice lean dish. Our pack is so healthy for you because it's so lean. It's 99% lean and even on these neck end osso buco cuts, it's so lean. So anyone that's looking for a, a good dietary option on a lean meat, this is what's good for you. Okay, so that's browned up nicely there now. So what I'm gonna do is just add our meat back. So that's just gonna go in with the veggies there now. And now we're gonna add all the liquids to it. So we're gonna start with a bit of chicken stock. It's only a little bit in there, it's just to help it along its way. Some beautiful Olo Rosso sherry. Gives it that South American feel. And some crushed tomatoes. So now that's all in together, you can see it there, it's all just gonna to come together nicely. All the juices will come out of the alpaca. It's gonna create the sauce. So now we're gonna put that in the oven for a couple of hours. Lid on top, keep everything inside, keep the liquids inside. We don't wanna to have too much evaporation. Into the oven that goes. That's gonna be a couple of hours. So let's get on with the potato salad. We're gonna make a Peruvian style potato salad. And we have here some cooked King Edward potatoes. So they've already got that beautiful creaminess. We just mushed them up a little bit by hand. And here is a, uh, it's a yellow chili dressing. So it's, it's Peruvian yellow chilies, here Mario, and lemon juice and olive oil. If you can't get your hands on some of that, just try using some roasted yellow capsicums. So we're going to just combine those two together. And it just makes something a little bit interesting to go with the alpaca also buco and keep in that sort of Peruvian South American feel that you know, alpacas are really known for. Just mixing that together quickly. Good pinch of salt, potatoes love salt. And we're just gonna add that to our frying pan. And then just as we're gonna serve it, we're just gonna heat it up a little. All right, so we've just got that out of the oven. That's piping hot. So that's been in there for about three hours now. They're beautiful and tender. Now I'm just going to strain that sauce off. That smells delicious. The meat's so nice and tender. Just being careful that it doesn't fall off the bone there. Just going to strain that, strain that sauce, strain all those veggies out so it's a really nice smooth gravy. I'm just going to pass that through that sieve there. So all the flavours of the veggies have come out, the alpaca flavours right the way through that sauce and just gently complemented by the sherry. 
adding that back to the pot. I'm just going to chuck that meat straight back in there. And just going to finish off, get our potato salad hot. So my potatoes have been on for about five minutes. They're nice and hot now. The osso buco is cooked down, it's been strained, it's all good to go, so we're gonna to start to plate up. All right, so those potatoes, beautiful and hot there. Nice color on them. So we're just gonna get the osso buco onto the plate. Be careful not to break the meat off there because it's so tender. I'm gonna put two onto it. A little bit of our cooking liquids there. It's the best ever gravy. All right, now what we're gonna do is just finish it off with some of our breadcrumb gremolata. It's the uh, toasted breadcrumb gremolata. It's got all the flavors of gremolata in there, the lemon, the orange, parsley, chili, and garlic. And it's a textural thing. So we're adding the, the mashed potato, the beautiful tender meat, and then a crunchy gremolata on top. Little pinch of salt to finish. And that's it. This is the neck end osso buco with Peruvian potato salad and breadcrumb gremolata.